What is good? What is good, all you goddamn hype beasts? It is your boy Sin Supreme, and we are back with another motherfucking live stream. I'm gonna wait for this bitch to fill up a little bit more. <laughs> I got a special. I got a special Wednesday night hype this week. Very, very, very special. Super special. I got a motherfucking guest this week. I got a goddamn guest this week. Believe it or not, we are we have a guest. I got a motherfucking guest this week. Huh? We have a, we have a special guest on this week of <laughs> What's good, Max? Um, we have a special guest on this week of the Wednesday night hype. I hope you guys are as excited as I am. If you are not familiar with the catalog Henny Talk. Uh, I wish it, yeah, yeah, no, right? Um, uh, if you're not familiar with the, no, we're gonna get him down here too. Um, if you're not familiar with the catalog Henny Talk, this is the dude that shot it. This has shot pretty much most of my Supreme collection. Um, if you haven't seen it yet, in the description below, you will be able to find the link to go watch that Henny Talk right now and all the rest of his Henny Talks. Um, I'd like to welcome my boy Terrence to the Wednesday Night Hype. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, what's good? What is good, guys? Is he, is, oh, uh, word. <laughs> word. Word. Hey. Everybody say what up to Terrence. Show Terrence oh, Obama, up. I'm dead. <laughs> 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 what's good, y'all? Um. So, uh, this week is obviously a big-ass fucking week. It's huge. We have the Undercover, Public Enemy, Supreme Collaboration. You have three brands, well, not three brands, a, a trifecta of a collaboration again. Um, it's ha That happened what earlier, what, yet yeah, last, the last collaboration last week. It was uh, Supreme, Nike, and the NBA. Um, so, uh, yeah, no, this nigga said Team Mobile hat. Bro. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the comments are crazy. You, I can't pay attention to the comments. You can totally feel free to pay attention. All right, to the comments. All right, bet. These motherfuckers are ridiculous. All these goddamn hypebeats are crazy. That's why I fucking love them. For the record, um, y'all, this is my first live stream. So, yeah, take it easy on them. Yeah, uh, Kyle's that dude. This motherfucker, every time, Kyle, you're that guy. You are that guy. Everybody show love to Kyle. Definitely one of my favorite subscribers, hands down. Um, but we're getting to this Yo. very huge drop, and uh, yeah, go go let homie in if you can. Um, for sure, he's gonna get to rolling up. He's gonna roll up something spicy All for right, us to, to burn on. Uh, we got a little henny in the cup, you know. Um, so it's gonna be yeah, a very in, very enjoyable Wednesday night hype. Um, I'm really excited for this drop. I'm a huge. Is he good? Yeah, yeah, he's good. Okay, I'm really, I'm really excited for this drop. Uh, I'm a huge public, well, I, I would say huge Public Enemy fan, but I did grow up on these guys uh, in the sense that my brother, he was only four years, he was four years older than me, and he's a huge hip hop head, and he put me on. Kyle is the goat. Um, <laughs> he put me on to Public Enemy at a very young age, so I didn't fully understand. Um, what they were talking about because as a kid you don't really deal with all the things that you know people were going through at that time do you, are you familiar with public enemy at all uh familiar with their movement not so much the music mm -hmm. but i checked out this drop um 
coming from like an outsider's perspective, this shit's looking pretty hard, bro. So let me break it down for you. One of the reasons why I wanted Terrence, I go, I call him T, on this uh, specific Wednesday night hype is because he's not a quote unquote hype beast. Shout out to Tommy. Um, yeah, always looking for some nice resell. Thanks for the donation, Tommy. Everybody show Tommy some love. Um, Terrence is not a, what you would call a quote unquote hype beast. He's still definitely a part of the culture. Hands down, this dude it can be as swaggy as fuck sometimes. Hey. But but um, he is not what you would call your stereotypical hype beast. He's not camping out. He's not trying to. But he he do be trying to get be a part of some drops though. He, he be trying to. He be taking some L's like the rest of us. So it's cool. He be taking yeah. some L's like the rest of us. So he's taking a few L's and uh, in, in, uh, in the recent couple weeks. And so we're gonna get to this drop. We're gonna go get to looking at all the items that are part of this drop. Um, shout out to Drops by Jay, who always hooks us up with um, all the information about the drop as far as the price listing and all that. And if you guys didn't know, I'm I'm very happy for the guy. He actually finally managed, or not managed, but he actually seems like he has his own actual website now, which is fucking legit. I fuck with it so hard that he has his own website now. Like, I've been waiting for this. I'm surprised it, it's took so long for this to happen um but i'm really glad drops has his own website now i'm i'll, I'll this will be my new favorite website um no no one knows how jay gets his info so don't even ask because it's not you're never gonna know like you're you will never know how drops gets his info because he would never give that up you know he's not gonna give that up but anyways let's get to this uh week four um drop and really look at what's coming out and how hyped it is um and all that so per usual i'm gonna go through all the items talk about everything and our and we're gonna give our opinions a little faster because there's a lot of items this, this season i mean this drop um so we're gonna talk about everything and then we'll open the floor for questions if you guys have any questions about you know resell or what's gonna resell and all that shit i'll answer all your questions at the end so let's get to everything a part of this drop and then we will see uh, what is actually, you know, super hyped and all that. All right, let's get to it. So let's start with the Supreme Undercover shit. I'm actually, instead of just looking at the Supreme community, I'm going to go to news and just go to these items. Let's get through all the actual lookbook photos. Oof. Lookbook photos for this for this drop are fucking sick. I think they help sell the actual drop itself. Who is the photographer? You guys know? I'm not sure who the photographer is because ever since they stopped using, who was that creep that they were always always using? Uh, the dude who got in trouble for taking all the photo tees. Um, oh, Terry Richardson. Yeah, Terry Richardson. Oh, word. Um, I know there's a little bit. Is there a little bit lag right now? Okay, we're good. Um, uh. So yeah, ever since they stopped using Terry Richardson, um, they I don't know who's been taking the photos, but they still look like they were taken by Terry Richardson. So I'm not sure, honestly, who uh, takes the photos now. But whoever it is, that's a very cushy job to be taking photos for Supreme, Oof. I must say. Um, starting out with the, um, uh, the tape scene parka. Uh, I watched Jacob's video earlier. I know we probably all fucking um, watched Jacob's video earlier. Um, yo, what up, Boone? Is Boone in here? Boone's not in here. Um, uh, we all. I know we all probably watched Jacob's video earlier. I watched Jacob's. So I watched Boone. Um, and uh, uh, pretty much their opinions on some of these items is very different, and it's pretty funny actually. It's pretty actually hilarious. Um, Boone loves this fucking collaboration. Me, personally, I think it's really cool. I love what they did. Um, and I'm excited to see, like, how pe how you guys respond. How you guys fucking um, respond as far as spending. Are, is everything going to sell out super fast? Um, so, with this parka, I like the parka, honestly. I think it's sick. I love the cover of this album. Um, I think it makes perfect sense to put this all over on a parka. Um, the cover of the actual album is pretty much this, the spacey look and vibe and the planets with the, um, uh, shout out to Boom, Boom Gang up in here. Oh, hey. yo, yo, that's that dude. He's, he, he's mad funny. Um, uh, 
I love this jacket. I think this jacket's sick, and the fact that it's the tape scene Parker makes it even fucking sicker. Um, what do you think about this piece? Uh, personally, for me, I think there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. Yeah, I fuck with the back heavy. The that, back is sick. That shit is crazy. I like the fact that the back of it is super simple, um, as far as just like the branding and all that, and clean. Hey, shout out Owen. Hey, okay, Owen. Yeah, holding me down on the shipping. <laughs> That's love. That's much love. love. Yeah, for <laughs> real. Everybody show show Owen some love. Um, uh, yeah, I love the back of it. I think the back of it being like super clean, and then the rest of the jacket being that all over print is fucking awesome. But you said you said it's a little bit too much for you. I mean, personally, I don't think I could rock this, but I could see I could see where the hype comes from. Like this shit. Is pretty solid. Yeah, yeah. What's going on? Is that a crosshair right there? Yeah, so that's the Public Enemy logo, essentially. They, it's pretty much, their logo is pretty much a dude in the b-boy stance. Bet. And crosshairs on him. Yeah, that shit's crazy, bro. That's some real ass shit, dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's pretty much what it is. Like, they're trying to take us out. We are public enemies. We are public <laughs> enemy number one. Um, let's move on to the next piece. I mean, retail for this is going to be a little over, uh, pretty much seven hundred dollars. Um, so it's as far as like if I want it or not. I mean, yeah, I would take this jacket in a heartbeat. Will I go for it? I'm not sure, honestly. It's in a pretty expensive jacket um, with a lot going on. So I mean, I might be able to find use for it as an everyday piece, but it's not for everybody. I I, I will say that. Um, Bro, I personally fuck with these jackets heavy. The work jackets, I love the work jackets in general. I think they're really cool. These are definitely pieces that I feel like you can rock all the time. You can wear this shit hundred percent all the time. Like you can add this to your your your, your wardrobe and casually wear it. You know, exactly. Or you can you know bring it out every once in a while as a spicy ass piece. You know what I'm saying? What's that material? Um, this is definitely like a probably like probably I would imagine it's usually like cotton. Okay. Like usually okay. for their stuff is cotton. Um, then it has to blow your mind on oh, the back. Oh man, that yeah. shit is wet. Yeah, bro. so that's this is the undercover coming into place. If you guys don't know, um, undercover loves to do faceless people or specifically women a lot on their clothing, on their tees and jackets and stuff like that. Okay, okay. Um, and uh, this is kind of a mashup of the public enemy because you see the, the the faces it's a faceless shirt but they have the actual undercover look i mean a public enemy logo on her face and the blow your mind that's that's pretty cool I, I i fuck with it um black one's hard i'd go with the black one yeah the black Dead one's ass. hard i'm black definitely ones. gonna try for this if anybody going for the jacket please let me know right now in the comments if anyone is going for this piece I know niggas is fucking with this jacket. Yeah, niggas is fucking <laughs> with this jacket. Hell yeah. This is fucking hard as hell. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is hitting. That piece is definitely hitting. Um, next up, we have the bubble. Um, I really like the bubble specifically because, I mean, all right, so it's cool. The the print, we've seen it before, and it's in a bubble. A little weird it coming out for the spring-summer season because, I mean, spring-summer is about is about to be full-on here. It's hair. about to be hot as hell. It's about here. to be hot as hell, so why the hell? But my the thing I love about it is the sleeveless aspect. I do love how it looks um, without sleeves. I feel like with the vest, you could almost piece this shit up with like anything. Bro. Anything. And it would just look thing. so crazy. It would look crazy. <laughs> this right here is your piece right here. Yeah. I don't think anyone's really buying this for this. Like the jacket. I think people are more or less aiming for the vest. They're yeah. looking for this vest. Like they're like, yeah, let's get this. Exactly. I hey, I know, I know Boston's still getting hit with that snow. I seen photos uh yesterday of uh my, my pops using a snow blower. Um, but uh, yeah, we live in LA, so we don't have that issue right now. No snow no whatsoever. Snow. So if you're out on the East Coast, come on over and uh, uh, fucking chill. I mean, and this even on the back with the fair of the Black Planet, obviously looks exactly like you know the Star Wars font when it's you know when it started from a Star Wars movie. It's pretty legit. Bye -bye. Um, uh, but. I really like this jacket mainly because of the vest vest style. I would definitely be rocking this with the vest, a hundred percent. Man, the back is crazy too. I fuck with that. Yeah, I do fuck with this. Um, now they got the sweater. I my issue with Supreme sweaters is I guess my issue with most sweaters. Um, I don't like the waist ribbing. Oh, how it kind of like tapers off. The waist ribbing it for me because. 
I like my stuff to fit a little oversized, a little bigger. Exactly. I like it to hang. Exactly. So with the waist ribbing, um, it it cuts you literally at the waist. Like you're, you know, it's almost it's pretty much like what it looks like. A, you're wearing it like a sweat. It's a sweater. Like I feel like for this piece, I would size up. Yeah, definitely you should size up. Um, yeah, just I would recommend sizing up a hundred and ten percent. Get that cozy swag. Get that cozy swag. Exactly. My issue is, is I don't think they eh, they might make that size for me. It's a little simpler. It just has the fear of the black planet all over it. I I mean, people are saying this is lacks creativity. Um, I think it's cool just because. Um, I think it's a statement. I think it's a statement piece, and the black and yellow hits. Yeah, exactly. The black and exactly. yellow is really, really, really sick. Um, real quick, just go over the retails of the pieces we've talked about before. Um, the tape scene Parker is six forty eight. The work jacket is two sixty eight. Puffy removable is three ninety eight, which is crazy because it's cheaper than the fucking tape scene Parker. Whoa. And then the sweater is one eighty eight. Um, 188 for that sweater. So you're paying almost $200 for that sweater. But it is an all-over print. Um, this sweater is definitely going to be top tier quality. Always like it is like a really quality sweater. I have the uh, sweater from uh, past season from Supreme. And um, yeah, uh, no, 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 no. I will, I will uh, definitely. All right, just to knock this out the way. Listen, it's not racist for white people to wear any of these pieces. A hundred percent. If you're white, you can rock all this shit, dude. My only thing is you got to do your research. Do your fucking research, bro. Stay woke. Stay woke. Like, don't... You you, you can rock any of this stuff. Just do your research. Be, don't get caught lacking. Don't get caught rocking a fair of a Black Planet piece and you haven't listened to the album. Like, if you haven't listened to any Public Enemy and you want to buy some of this just because you like it, Give it a listen. I guarantee you won't regret it. Like, people are just really worried that they're coming off as, as it could be considered racist rocking any of this shit. I could see the concern, but nah, bro. It's 2018. 2018, you were good, dude. You were so good. <laughs> like, we are we are all, like, people out here on the grind. And if you understand the movement of actual public enemy, you would know. They would want you to wear their piece. But just be woke. Know about the movement. You know what I'm saying? So... It is what it is. Should we be playing some some Public Enemy in the back? We no, because can't do that. Yeah, huh? I can't do that. Unfortunately, they'll demonetize my shit. Oof. Um. Yeah, YouTube's fucking uh, YouTube bastards. Um. Honestly, I like these shirts. I think they're pretty cool. I love the fact that they chose um rayon. Uh. So Ray, are you familiar with rayon? It's pretty much like a silk, um, a substitute. Okay. So it's like a it's a little more breathable. Um. And and doesn't take as much. Like you don't have to take care of it as much. So this would be good for the summer. Shout out to Richard for donating to the channel. Love you, Richard. Yo, I hope you enjoy Disneyland. Gang, gang. Hell yeah, gang, gang. Um, but yeah, Rayon essentially is, um, uh, yeah, it's like a, I don't say cheaper silk. It's just, you know, it's, you would, if you feel it, you would think it was silk, essentially. Mm, okay. Um, and so that's what these shirts are made out of. They're Rayon. Um... Which is pretty cool. If obviously the 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 colors, uh, the Afri African colors, you know, the black, red, and um, green. Um, I really do fuck with the shirt. I like the logo repeated, re uh, repeated all over it. A lot of people have been hating on it. I think it's like super simple. I could see you rocking the green one. The green one's pretty hard. Yeah, the green one's straight. Uh, yeah, the black one. I'm, I'm not feeling as much. It looks a little simple to me, but the colors are popping for sure. Yeah, the colors do. I feel like the colors pop on the black one, but the logo doesn't. Yeah, exactly. Like, I feel like the logo pops more on the green and the red. You get to see, like, what's going on. Like, oh, shit, like, that might be, that's some public enemy shit. Whereas in the in the black and the white one, it's kind of just, like, uh, more, I don't know. It's just doesn't pop as much as these two. Yeah, it's looking like some polka dots. Yeah, bit. yeah, exactly. <laughs> it does look a lot more like polka dots. Yeah. Hell yeah. The green one, I think the green one, in my opinion, is probably the best. Probably will sell out the first out of all three. For sure. Honestly. Yeah. Um, The pants. Uh, you you guys know I fucking love Supreme Pants. I rock them shits all the time. Gang. Gang, gang. Um, Personally, I don't know. I, these ones are... They're skate pants. I don't know if I, I don't know if all the pants I have are skate pants. They're, I think the ones I have, if you if you've had a pair of these, they're super cozy. They're probably some of the most coziest pants you can fucking get, dude. On some rail, they're so cozy. Um, uh, but 
I think I might have some better pants I like out of this drop. So these are cool. Once again, I think the the green and the red are my favorite, even out of the pants. Um, let me just check prices real quick. Um, Rayon shirt, Rayon shirts one fifty eight, and the skate pants are one forty eight. So there you have it. Um, next up, these pants. People are loving these pants, bro. I need a pair of these. People are loving these pants, man. Those... And they're woven patch. I feel like these are gonna be a hundred percent cotton, like a cotton blend, maybe. Um, okay. So they're gonna be cozy as fuck. Like, I am definitely feeling those black pair. Like, yeah. Out of all of the, out of all the items being dropped, like this is my favorite for sure. Yeah, the, those these are sick. These pants are sick. Um, obviously, with like I took a chance when I first bought like the skate pants a couple of seasons ago because I I'm always worried about buying pants offline just because I'm a tall dude and like, buying <laughs> pants offline you got I gotta try them. It's a on. risk. Yeah, it's a risk. It's a risk. But those they fit. They fit. They fit me. These are a little different because you know they're pant pants instead of like you know sweatpants essentially like i'm i don't know if these will fit me the same way the other pants do i do like these pants though so are they straight leg it looks like straight leg. they look like a straight leg i mean supreme being a skate brand they tend to do most of their pants in a straight leg fashion just because you know they, they make their pants more for comfort rather exactly. than style yeah um so i feel like these pants uh will um, definitely. <laughs> I'm dead. I got the dad hat. I mean, <laughs> the um, I feel like these pants will probably fit. A, you know, they'll be a stylish fit. Yeah. How Art be rocking this shit? What? How Art be rocking? This oh yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out Art one time. Yeah, shout out Art one time. Um, shout out. Yeah, shout out to my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. Um, and then yeah, I feel like with the patch and the writing, these pants are just hitting. You're only getting two colors in these guys. You don't need a lot. Um, you can definitely get the full suit with the top and bottom. As far as if you were to get the jacket, you could get the pants suit. That outfit would be hitting hard, honestly. Um, I'm definitely not setting my beard on fire. You're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> these niggas, the is beard will not go on fire. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is when we get a little more serious. These pants, I fucking love. I really love. Out of all of the album cover out of everything they that they use the album cover for um as far as all the prints the hoodie the jacket the the, uh, the um uh, tape scene jacket um this is my favorite use of the actual uh pants i love the way these fucking look um and you can do that a lot with pants you can have pants that are fucking crazy because they're just pants in the end of the day i don't know what do you think of these um I'm gonna I'm gonna pass on these personally. Yeah. Is it is there a drawstring? Mm -hmm. It's all drawstring. It's a drawstring. These are like sweatpants. These are like oh, okay. sweatpants. Okay. Yeah. I mean, as sweats, those are some fire ass fucking that's, sweats. That's exactly. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. Like as some fucking sweats, dude. Loki thought they were like some jogger material, but nah, it, like they're they're literally like some sweats. Okay. Yeah, like some sweatpants. Are you going for these? I don't know yet. I usually I usually don't make my decision until tomorrow morning, like what I'm really going for. Word. Like I I'll 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 oogle over everything and really like decide. Sometimes I already automatically know what I'm going for. But yeah, I'm not sure about these pants. Let's see What's what, the price? Let's yeah. see what prices is looking like for these shits. Um Well so those pants that you were looking at, those ones are one seventy eight. That's not bad. Um, and these ones are oh the same price one seventy eight. Okay, okay. So if I were to get these pants, I pretty much would be paying a little over two like close to two hundred dollars for these pants, um, which is a lot for some fucking sweats. Don't get me wrong. True. But at the same time, uh, one you have Undercover, which is already a pretty high price brand, um, and two uh, you have some all over sweats as well. So the print is very crazy, very intricate. Um, and you know they're gonna be quality, at the end of the day. So, yeah, I do like these a lot. I haven't decided if I'm going for them or not. The 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 price of them is probably the only thing that might hold me off from getting getting them. Yeah, I mean, two hundred for some sweats. I do fuck with that back pocket though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. Like, look at that pocket. You can zoom in. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. yeah that's some nice placement. I can fuck yeah. with that. Yeah, I like these shits a lot with the with the supremacy on the ankle. Oof. Yeah. But for two, 
For two, I don't know. That's a lot. I'm tapping out. Yeah. <laughs> I told you, you're not, you see, that's what I'm saying. That's what you gotta have a, a a solid guy around who's not a hype beast who won't be controlled by the brand. I keep it real. He keeps it real. <laughs> this is the hoodie, the matching hoodie. See the hoodie, I could fuck with. Yeah, you fuck with the hoodie. Yeah, personally, I'm a hoodies guy. Yes, yes. Yeah, the back is hard. Yeah, the, the you got you got the the counterattack on the world supremacy on the front, public enemy, and then on the back, you got the fair, the black planet on the cover. I mean, yeah, this hoodie. Definitely is spicy as fuck. Like I can't lie. Um, the fear of a black planet is popping on the back. Yeah, that, it pops. That it yellow. Pops. It pops. And I do like the logo on the arm. Yeah, I feel like just in general, like with the album cover, like just the colorway in general, like everything kind of like it's a lot going on, but it all like helps it kind of stand out. In like its brings own way. it together. Yeah, it brings it all brings it together specifically. Yeah. yeah. Even with the with the red and the public enemy, like all of it, none of it looks like it doesn't belong. Exactly. Yeah. So I I definitely fuck with that. Um, hoodie wise, I'm sure this is probably gonna be like 178 as well. Uh, hooded sweatshirt. Wow, the hooded sweatshirt is actually 218. Holy shit, that's just dumb expensive <laughs> for a fucking hoodie. That's kind of crazy. Out of everything we've seen so far, what do you think's gonna go the fastest so far i don't think we've come to that item yet that i think is going to go the fastest but out of everything we've seen this far i think that the jacket the tape scene jacket is probably the the parka it's probably going to be the first thing to sell out out of everything we've seen thus far okay um yo hello he's got it he's got to right, step sure. out and let let the homie in real quick I'll be right back. um go, go get him? yeah go grab him Next up, this is just a live stream. We're just killing it. We're just killing it. You know how to you, you know how to get out of you get downstairs, right? Yeah. Cause it's like a maze in my crib. Because I can't I can't have people just coming through like that. Um for the white and black. Uh is the tape scene parker worth coming for resale? Uh I don't know. I personally don't think anything out of this drop drop is any is my personal opinion out of everything out of this drop, I don't think anything out of this drop is worth resale. Like, it's going to be worth copying for resale. I don't think you're going to make enough money off anything off this drop. I may be wrong. I may totally be just talking on my ass and not know what I'm talking about. And 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 that could be the very, that could very well be the case um, uh, once the shit drops. But I personally feel like there's nothing out of this drop that is worth copying for resale. Because I don't think anything will resell for that high enough price. Unless maybe these hoodies. I think these hoodies might be worth copying for resale. I like these hoodies. I think they're really cool. Um, I like the fact that they only come in two colors. The black and the white. The, the green skull on the back. I don't know if anyone followed up. Jacob was asking if the green skull means anything. I wasn't able to find anything online with that green skull. And if it has a connection with Public Enemy itself. That might be more of an undercover thing as far as the green skull um but i do fuck with these hoodies 100 percent. i just fuck with how clean they are they're dumb clean like these shits are so clean supreme all i i hate supreme always makes me want to buy a white hoodie like supreme always makes me buy want to buy a white hoodie i think that white version is fucking sick um next up we have the crew necks which i think the crew necks honestly the crew necks probably might have resale value like they come in the white and the black, super clean. Um, let's let's bring it back real quick, and uh, you let me know, T, what you think about these these hoodies. Oh shit! Come in the white and the black. Got the public enemy shit. I'm actually fucking with that heavy, bro. Yeah. Which one do you like better, the the black or the white? Yo, Supreme always makes it so that I want to get a white hoodie, dude. Like, white hoodies don't make it... Like, if you're going to get a hoodie, like, a white hoodie don't make no fucking sense. Like, you should I, not be work, rocking a white fucking hoodie. I will say that that green on the back is... It fucking it sets hits. it off, bro. It sets bro. it off, dude. That's what I'm Man. saying. It's fucking hard. Um, I would go for those. How much are they going for? Uh, these these hoodies? Yeah. I bl Let's see. These ones might be a little more reasonably priced. 178 So... So that's the one thing. All right, so Undercover is a Japanese brand that's dumb expensive. Yeah. Dumb expensive. Usually, most of the time, I'm even able to afford it is when they collaborate with Supreme. Because <laughs> Supreme brings their price point way down. That's what's up. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, 
So yeah, normally they're, they're, a hoodie from Undercover might be like three hundred. You know, like it's like pretty expensive. Um, so like the prices are you're gonna find the prices are kind of like in the middle for most of these items. I I feel like it would be so hard to keep that white one clean. Oh, of course, of course. You get ketchup on that? Oh, it's over. It's, it's over. <laughs> the only white hoodie I have is so crazy that if I was to get a stain on it, you wouldn't notice because there's mad shit on the hoodie. So like that's the only reason why I bought it in the white, honestly. Um, the crew necks themselves, uh, I think they're fucking clean as fuck, dude. That public enemy on the chest like that, yeah. Either way you go, that's just hitting. I like the black though, honestly. Personally, I I always love wearing black. You know me, bro. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I will say, I like the hoodie better than the crew necks. Yeah, yeah. Low key, cause. Uh, just like the small logo on the front. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. With the accent on the back. Is there anything on the back of this one? Yes, there is. It's the faceless woman, I believe. Oh, okay. So that kind of adds to it a little bit. It definitely bit. adds to it a little bit. I yeah. see what you mean though. This one is definitely like like when you look at the hoodies, the hoodies are like Oh this, my the, god, bro. Those are so wet. They're and the, the branding on the front is super clean. Yeah. You know? Definitely. Um so I definitely understand exactly what you're saying. This one is definitely a little more of a statement piece. Yeah, exactly. You know, you're a little more louder with it. It's not, I wouldn't say this is as much an everyday piece as the the hoodies. You can rock those like whenever and it, it, it'll be whatever, you know, because of how clean the front is. Yeah. Um, These ones, I, I, I'm in love with the Faceless Woman uh, logo. That design is fire, bro. That design is fucking sick. I feel like you could <laughs> almost just throw that on a t-shirt and it would be straight. Like put that shit on the front of a t-shirt, bro. Dude, we're getting there. We're getting there. Man. Um, Supreme, hire me. How much is the crew neck? The crew neck is 168. So that's damn. All these items are pretty expensive. More expensive than normal Supreme items. Um, the t-shirt with the counter attack um, on the front, um, a long sleeve, and then on the back you got Fear of the Black Planet. Just the album cover. This is just what the album cover looks like right here. I'm gonna um, come clean. I feel like this is a little out of place with the rest of the. Drama. With the rest of it, yeah, it seems like it's a little, uh, like almost too simple, or like. Well, just the fact that it's blue, you know, Cause, the blue kind of yeah. Because they have like a lot of neutral colors. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. And it doesn't it doesn't really mesh well with the the cover art. I don't think either. No, nah, it's I a different type of blue. Like, put that shit on a yellow long sleeve. Ooh, that you might be. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Somewhere. Hell yeah. Word. Is it you think anyone's gonna ooh comes in a bunch of different colorways. Or okay. not uh, four different colorways. Okay. Are you fucking with any of them? Specifically the white one. I think the white one's obviously the cleanest. Word. Um I would like I would be interested to see what the lo what the logo or the album cover looks like on the back of the red one. Mm. Just because I, I feel you on that. Yeah, just actually. to see what it looks like. Because I do like the the front the front with the red one. Obviously, the black one is perfect. Like, bro, you can't go wrong with yeah, anything. Yeah, you can't black. go wrong with the black one. Black one's perfect. Out of all these, I think the black and the white one will probably sell out the fastest. Right. Um, let's keep it moving. Hey, Mo. Now this right here, uh, Boone. If you're watching right now, the dude in this shirt is Chuck D. I'm sure that I'm sure the comments of your video already told you. He didn't. He, he, I know you didn't know who the who the cover uh, who was on the shirt. Uh, um, in front of the White House is Chuck D, one of the me founding members of Public Enemy. Um, so yeah, just the FYI, that's what I'm saying, guys. Do your research because when you wear these shirts, motherfuckers are gonna be like, "Who is on your fucking shirt? <laughs> what does that mean?" And you don't want to get caught out here lacking. Can't be ignorant. You to the can't game. be ignorant to the culture. Um, and if you don't know, this is probably one of the most fires fucking tees out of this whole drop. Standing in front of the White House giving the finger, that shit is real, dude. That shit is so real. Um, this right here is kind of what Public Enemy almost stands for. It's very symbolic. Um, oh, I love this t-shirt. I, I just do. I just love it. I love how clean this shirt is. It's fucking fire. And this is actually like semi... What is this, like 70? It's going... Uh, well, oh, when it when it drops, when or when that photo is... Oh, no, like how much is a t-shirt? The t-shirts, let's see how much the t-shirts are. Because once again, we all know undercover can be. It's forty-eight. Is it? Am I reading that? Okay, right? yeah, yeah. The T-shirt is normal. That's normal Supreme price. Forty-eight, forty-eight to thirty-four dollars. It's a little more expensive than normal Supreme T-shirt prices, but it's still like in that realm. I mean, um, for for the rareness of that T-shirt, forty-eight. Yeah, forty-eight. That's pretty solid. It's pretty solid, right? Yeah. Yeah. High key, exactly. High key. Exactly. Um, you feel like that? That shit might go quick. Oh yeah. 
all the motherfuckers who can't afford all the other shit, they be going for the t-shirt. They're going for the t-shirts. Oh, 100%. Uh, 110%. <laughs> I don't want to call them broke boys because, like, you're still buying a $48 t-shirt. But in the hype beast world, it's some, it, it, you know, broke boys are going for that shit. I feel it. I you know, because, like, it, there's levels to this shit. So, you know, you have motherfuckers who are ready to drop $1,000 on something. And you got motherfuckers who are like, all right, I can't get $1,000 something. Let me get a forty-eight dollars T-shirt. Exactly. And at the end of the day, you were definitely, you're definitely not, uh, you're definitely not quote unquote a broke boy because you're still buying once again a forty-eight dollar T-shirt. That is not broke boy shit, <laughs> at in the slightest. I'm sure if you went to high a, key, high key. if you went to a legit broke boy and told him you spent forty-eight dollars on a T-shirt plus ten dollars shipping and maybe tax. This nigga said my whole closet's like, forty-eight dollars. <laughs> He'd be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> So it's it's uh you know it's it's just the most it's the entry level most affordable piece. Okay, okay. You know. Yeah, exactly. I love the branding on the back, but I love the fact that you don't need to see that. So I can still wear something over this. I can still layer this piece because really everything that's happening that I want to happen is on the front of the shirt. Yeah, the front's popping. Yeah, front's popping, but also you got the back to, you know, if you want to go totally just the t-shirt, you're good. And then you these are the just I guess so the the red, blue, white and black are just the colors of the t-shirts is what it is yo i'm gonna come clean i might have to try for that white tee yeah dude that white tee is fucking clean that dude. shit's crazy bro that shit is fucking so clean it's ridiculous it's so ridiculous dude someone shouting us out i see you bro gang gang what's up bro so then we have the skull tee again or what is this one called see that greens there again that pterodome tee it hits a lot harder on the red that green. What is that shit though? Like, I believe so, so. That's the thing we were. I was trying to figure out is where the the skull the skull comes from. Essentially, mm -hmm. I don't believe it's un, it's um it's public enemy shit. I think it's undercover shit. So it's. I didn't even notice that's a skull, bro. Yeah, it's a skull. That's crazy. I fuck with that. Yeah, it's a skull. Very rare. Yeah, and you got the fucking so that I believe the skull is undercover shit. That shit is like something that uh, undercover does on their in their brand. Or and um. Yeah. I like how the logo just sits in there, though. Like, that shit's hard. Yeah. And I imagine it's other colors, too. Yeah, you have the fours. The red for me is killing it. See, I just... I feel like red just doesn't complement my skin right, bro. Mm. I'd be looking wild in red shit. Mm. I mean, I'll I'll say this. Because I, 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 I felt like that at one point. Like, certain colors didn't complement what I wore. Exactly. And the end of the day... With fashion, the crazy thing about fashion, and I'll give you, uh, I'll give you all you hype beasts out there a tip on when it comes to like rocking something crazy or something you're uncomfortable with. Mm. It's all about confidence and bravado. Yeah. If you put on something and you feel comfortable in it, you feel like you're the shit in it. Who who can say you're not? True. You know, if you if you have that internal confidence that when you looked in the mirror, you thought this outfit was hitting. No one can tell you shit. <laughs> no one can be like, yo, that's not working. Be like, man, my boy, I know this is working. Exactly. I know in my brain this is working. Yep. How do you think Andre 3000 gets away with it? How do you think Luzi, little Uzi Vert gets away with some of the shit this motherfucker be wearing? Man, Uzi doesn't get away with it sometimes, though. The internet was getting going the at The internet Uzi. might get at him, <laughs> yeah. but he still had to leave the crib like that. Mm, true. He still had to put that on. He put it on, probably walked by Amara, <laughs> and was like... <laughs> Shit, I'm I'm killing it right now. I'm killing it. <laughs> Shout out Uzi, we Shout love you, bro. Shout out Uzi, yeah. I fuck with Uzi. I fuck with it. I fuck with the shit he be rocking sometimes too. What's up, Lynn? Hell yeah, hell yeah. Um, this is just your standard public enemy shirt. It has the fucking public enemy branding on the front. Looks very clean. And then bam, bro. This one, I am fucking with heavy. Yeah, just yeah. the centering of that back right yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. That shit goes, bro. I love that shit. Man. I love it. This is what I was looking for. Just like, yeah. you feel me? Yeah, no, I the fuck with it. I knew once you came across this, you fuck with it. Yeah, yeah. bro. That shit's Hell tough. yeah. Hell yeah. I fuck with this t-shirt a lot. This is definitely probably one of my favorite t-shirts out of the whole drop. Um, honestly, the white one is just doing it for me. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to go with the white one. I guess they own, this one only comes in three colors opposed to all the other, one, other ones because they didn't show the blue. Um... And 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 the blue and what was the other color? Green? No, what was the other color? Mm. 
yeah blue they didn't show the blue in this one i guess just blue um i guess this only one comes in three colorways opposed to the four i feel like this design wouldn't look too good in blue in the blue yeah, yeah. maybe the maybe that's why they changed it because the, the back image might not hit correctly on didn't it. mesh right and yeah shit. Didn't, might, might not mesh right Word. um but yeah i fuck with it i love the shirt definitely is on my like definitely this is like on my radar a hundred percent um these all right so i'm not a huge fan of doc martens i don't know if you are man i'm I'm gonna i'm gonna have to pass (laughs) (laughs) right now how many of you motherfuckers is looking forward to the doc martens let me know in the comments right now um shit yeah i don't know about these doc martens they're saying they're resell but like man i don't know what do you think I don't think that I honestly as far as resale we can check the resale because this isn't the first time Supreme has done Doc Martens yeah so they've been doing Doc Martens for like for a little while now as far as like every season they might do a collaboration with Doc Martens um yeah they they even done an undercover Supreme Doc Martin collaboration before like maybe two seasons ago okay and um yeah I'm just never a fan of the the Doc Martens shape if I dressed up more or if I like wore shoes like this more I'd be on these a hundred percent. If I had to dress up, I might stunt in these one time, but yeah, yeah, I'm for never for dressing them. up in, in dress shoes, bro. Yeah, it's just yeah. not a thing. And that's the thing, these aren't even like these aren't even easy pass. These aren't even uh <laughs> easy <laughs> pass. These aren't even serious dress shoes. Like motherfucking rock these <laughs> shits like to the like you know, these aren't even like super Doc Martin, like you know Will Smith used to rock these shits on fucking Fresh Prince all the time with some jeans and a fucking, you know, like that was the swag back then. Is it some fucking Doc Martens unlaced or whatever? Given they were the high tops, so they were a little more swaggier. I feel like if you wear th- wear these on like a regular day, you're just out of pocket. That's yeah. Like that's a lot going on on your shoe. Well, you have either. I feel like with something like this, you have those two choices. You can either wear them every day to the point where they become regular to you. Some beat out shoes. Some beat out. You wear them, or you only break them out every once in a fucking while, and it's just like, all right. These are spicy. This is at, this is creating an outfit or whatever. So, I think I think it's a I think it's a pass mm. uh, for me. What do you think, bro? What's the price? That's that's the question. Let's see. Let's see what the price is. What's the price? If the price is right, Dog Martin's one seventy eight. Mm. I'm calling it now. These shits are sitting. These shits are gonna sit like a motherfucker. Man, they can lay because I am not fucking with these <laughs> shoes, bro. <laughs> these shits are probably gonna sit. <laughs> These shits are probably gonna sit. They're gonna sit harder than motherfucking forces that mo- people thought were, were were crazy that they were sitting last week. Yeah, these shits are gonna sit for a little while. You will have all the time in the world to get these shits if you're going for them, so don't worry. Um, yeah, these shits. That's what I'm saying. Like, Mm-mm. they're not. They're not. They're not the worst. I mean, the top you look straight, but that's what I'm saying. Like when you look at them through other angles, you're like, they're not the worst, but. So if you're not familiar with Public Enemy, they used to wear these medallions that had like Africa on them or like, you know, the 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 the, the fists, you know, on yeah, them yeah. or whatever. And so undercover, they also make pouches, you know, like kind of like side bag pouches or whatever. Okay. Um, in different shapes, like a teddy bear or a stick of dynamite or whatever. So this is kind of like a, a cross between the two where it's the medallion that they would wear in Public Enemy. And then at the same time, it's a pouch. A leather pouch. This is all leather. It's a leather. necklace? Yeah, it's a necklace. A necklace, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a necklace. So what do you think, bro? Because I don't... That's some... I have an undercover pouch. I'll show you after okay. um, the live stream. I'll show you. I have one of their pouches, but it's like a stick of dynamite. It looks like a stick of dynamite. And I love it. I don't use it really for anything other than like if I'm going out holding like, you know, weed and shit. Word. But um, I don't know. I think the nostalgia level of the fact that it's like, you know... A medallion similar to what they were wearing public enemy and all that i feel like the cross of what they did is very ingenious is very genius like it's sick like what they did with it but dope. will i be going for it i'm not sure dope collab but i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to say no because then on top of that what is this you're oh. looking at 500 oh no, no 72 72 bucks that's not bad yeah 72 dollars so it's not crazy but at the same time, I think these will be chill- these will be hanging out. These will be chilling. I mean, I like I would just be throwing coins in that shit. I I can't see myself. That's what I'm saying. Like having any use for this. It, yeah, coins in it, whatever yeah. you know, like simple shit. And then, but then wearing it around your neck, people. Yeah, I don't know. I'll say this: if it's just hanging around after I get everything I want, I might I might just pick it up just cause. I feel like if you wear this around your neck, you're mad corny. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm gonna be dead ass. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! So and they're doing the actual logo with on. Uh, this is uh, fourteen karat gold right here. So this is legit. Okay. So that's what you read when you said five hundred dollars. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm. I mean, this shit's hard in my opinion. I fuck with this shit. It's it's hard, bro. That's fu- that's real gold. That's real gold. Fourteen karat. They do they do real gold every season. They do real gold piece every season. Normally their the real gold piece is like around three hundred or whatever. Okay. Um, the kicker is what's the size of that uh, what's the diameter of like they normally so here's the thing that you can't tell because normally when you go to let's check out real quick when you go to the Supreme store uh, they give like dimensions yeah they put it next to a quarter to show you how big it is oh so it's a little smaller than a quarter that hold on well here's the thing I don't I'm imagining because this is how they normally do it that this is going to be the same size. I'm imagining. It mm. could be a little bigger. I don't know because it's more expensive. So I'm not sure. I mean, this zoom on the camera is deceiving, bro. I can't tell the actual size. I would have anymore. appreciated a quarter in the photo or something to like give you some sort of like. But I'm sure in the drop tomorrow, it'll have that, 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 this. Like when you go to cop it tomorrow, it'll have like it next to a quarter or something like that. Is this a cop for you, bro? Would you drop five on the, on the Supreme necklace? My thing is, is that. The, you can spend five and get a totally custom piece in gold. Exactly. You can get it. You right now, guys. If you have five hundred dollars to spend on a gold necklace or something like that, and you want to get this, take that money, go to your local jeweler, tell him you want something custom in gold. He'll make something that you, exactly what you want in gold. I feel like for this one, you just have to be like a real fan of Public Enemy. A hundred percent. Because hundred percent spending five hundred on this chain, like, and to me, I'm looking at it now. Look at that crack but beneath that one on the left. Like I feel like the size of these chains is pretty small. Oh yeah, it's probably small. Yeah. It's so, probably small. So I don't know if I drop five hundred on it because Here's the thing though, I will say. Because it is fourteen karat gold, it'll all like unlike, you know, certain other clothing pieces, like if you wear it, it'll lose its value. This shit'll hold its value. Yeah, because it's gold. Exactly. It, it could even end up being worth more than what you could resell it for just because of it being gold, you know? Word. So that's my only thing about it, is that it is a gold piece, so it the value of it's a little... I value it a little differently, but at the same time, like, I can get... Spend the same amount, amount of money and get my own custom gold piece. Yeah. Instead of... High key. You know, this. So it's like, yeah, I'm always like, when it comes to buying gold that is branded with other people's stuff, like, I'm more or less just want my own my own gold get pieces. that sin supreme yeah, exactly exactly that sin supreme chain is on the way don't worry let's pause for this fucking carpet because that shit is fucking lit <laughs> bro my god bro put this that in the center of the living room this carpet is so hard you're a real nigga if you have yeah, this in your living for room for real for real man i don't know about the shoes being off to the side like that man fuck the doc martens <laughs> fuck them shoes bro that carpet though is lit yeah the carpet is fucking lit dude for real for real um yeah, I really want this. I wonder how much the carpet is costing. Let me see. Damn, that shit is three hundred and eighteen dollars. Man, so we're looking at a little, little, little over like three fifty, maybe close to three fifty. I'll come clean though. Like, I don't know the dimensions of the carpet, but as like a centerpiece in a room, I feel like that shit would go in. Does it have the dimensions here? No dimensions. Hmm. And I believe Gallery, this company, is, like, really popular. Gallery uh, 1955 or whatever. Um, they do other... They've done other Supreme rugs in the past and shit like that. So, um, it's going to be a quality-ass quality, uh, quality ass rug. It Hands looks down. quality, just Hands from down. the photos. Hands down, it's going to be quality as shit. Someone said their new welcome mat. I feel that. No, nah, you better not put that on your crib. Someone's going to steal that shit. <laughs> right outside the front yeah, door. Yeah, <laughs> you put it on your door, someone's stealing that shit 100%. ASAP. Okay, so that's all the collaboration pieces dropping this week. We're going to go over the lookbook pieces real quick. Um, let's see what we got dropping out of the lookbook, and then we'll open the floor for questions. In a sec. Yeah, yeah if you, if, yo, dude, if you wrote up and want to fucking light up, we can burn that now. It's totally fine. Oh yeah, it's good. It's good, my dude. Yeah, these guys out here, these goddamn hypebeats are cool with it. Don't don't even don't even sweat it, dude. Um, 
so yeah, let's look at these uh, actual, the lookbook items dropping this week. So that was all the collaboration pieces. So then we got a couple of items that are dropping from just, that are just Supreme items dropping this week. For sure. Um, so first we have the Dazzle warm-up top. Let's look at this on the actual Supreme website so we can see a better photo. Where is this sheet at? I can never read this shit. Let me see. Here it goes. The dazzle. Okay. I see my bag right there. Okay, so the, I guess this is why they're calling it the dazzle. Maybe because of this, like, like cross stitching across the chest. That shit is low key clean. Yeah, that shit's clean. This shirt's clean as fuck. Man, this shirt's fucking clean. I would add that to my wardrobe. Yeah, hundred percent. Oh. I always, I always feel a type of way about items that say New York on it, but like, Supreme is still able to make me cop shit like that. It'll say New York on it. I'm gonna come clean, like. I don't know if I could rock it, but that purple one is crazy. Yeah, bro. the purple one's it, right? Man. Yeah. <laughs> that's well, like crazy. A, it's like a light purple. Yeah, no, 100%. Oh, and this is a jersey, dude. Oh, word? Yeah, so it's like poly. Jersey material? Yeah, it's jersey. Okay. So it's like a, like a, almost like a soccer jersey. Out of all, all oh, excuse me, out of all these colors. I was you, really liking the red one. I do like the the purple one. That blue one's kind of hidden, but yeah, I think the red one's probably my favorite. Yo, the orange could go. Orange can go. That's the thing. Like, if you are going for this and you end up having to just pick a color, I think all colors are like pretty, pretty much. That shit reminds me of those popsicles, those orange popsicles. Yeah, it's popping like that. Yeah, that's it's shit, popping like that. It's pretty wavy. Yeah, I could fuck with that. One hundred percent. Um. And that is, that shirt's one looking like it's gonna be one ten. That shirt's looking like it might be one ten. Um, as far as the price point, this right here, I'm a bit, I'm a bit sauce. This shirt is dropping, um, this week because I probably won't be able to get it because I'm going for other shit. I'm a little sauced because this shirt is fucking hard in my opinion. Which one? I could see you wearing that. Yeah, of course. It's a little crazy for me. It's but a little crazy. That's you, high key. I love how small the Supreme bot is right there. The subtle flex. The subtle flex. <laughs> but then he got all the other colorways. Mm. I personally think that first one was was doing the it. The best, right? Yeah, high key. Definitely. I think the first one is definitely like one of the best out of all of them. You can never go wrong with black and white stripes. Your boat. That's some ex-con shit, bro. I can't do the black and white. You can't do the black and white? Nah. Maybe if they were a little smaller. <clears throat> I feel you. You think this... <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. Like, oh, but like, do motherfuckers wear that in prison anymore? Do they still Nah, that's some prison? old shit. I feel it's like that's... Like, like, yeah, low-key. I was like, is there any motherfuckers still like working an old-school prison? Old-school prison joint. <laughs> I'm like, oh, brother, where art thou? Exactly. Um, well, yeah, how much is those shirts hitting for? Oh, two. Hmm. That shirt's looking like it's going to be 88. And one thing about those shirts, though, is they're super quality. Like, it's all cut and sewn, like, 100% cotton. Like, really nice quality shirts. Um, not your average, like, T-shirt quality. Um, so that's why that you'll find out there, you'll find them to be a little more expensive. You're like, why the, why the fuck am I paying 80 bucks for a fucking t-shirt? Mm. Um, it's because it's not a t-shirt. It's like a really quality shirt. Um, let's see what other, what other, let me look at all the shirts before I go to the hats. Piping ringer tee. I need that work jacket though. And denim shirt. Okay. So the piping ringer tee, I'm not too familiar with this shirt. I don't think it was probably like anything crazy. Ugh. I don't know. This colorway doesn't really grab me like that. I'm not too fond of the branding. <laughs> I think the branding is okay. I'm not too fond of the Supreme uh, branding like that. 
This tail colorway is kind of looking pretty cool. Like, really good for the <coughs> summer. The white one's really clean, especially for... Man, go back to that orange one. I feel like Deadass, this is like a fast food Yeah, like, it looks uniform. like it does It does have that. I think that's what's throwing me off on it. The shirt has a very fast food uniform. You look like, like you work at Wiener Schnitzel or some <laughs> shit. <laughs> High key. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> fucking wiener so shirt dog oh someone said it looks like backwards i could see that Ooh, that actually might be kind of hard smoking a back for your album shirt. cover a whole oh. a pack of back pack of woods that shit little is, endorsement yeah a little endorsement if i was to wear any of these whoops it would either be the white one or the or the fucking black one yeah the black one i'd have to see the text on it though like what color you can't see the details, huh? Yo, bro. No, nah, that's the only thing. You can't see the details on, like, the other, like, the other, other ones. You can only tell the colors. So. Um, what else is dropping? Let's see. Was that it for the shirts? Denim shirt? Let's take a look at the denim shirt. I mean, I love denim shirts. I don't know if you have any denim shirts. Tea. Denim shirts. Give me an example, like a long sleeve. Yeah, like a long sleeve shirt. Uh, do you have any? Do you have? Do you have a denim shirt? Like a jean? It's like a shirt, pretty much a jean shirt. I feel like I have a, one jean shirt. I love denim shirts. Okay. I fuck with denim shirts hard. Do you do top button on this shit? On a denim shirt? Yeah. That's the thing. Like, all right. So, even like with a, sh I have shirts that I can, you can wear them like four different ways and. And they're all a different fit. Word. So like I have a, I have a shirt that I can wear, like all the way from top down buttoned. Exactly. That's a fit. I have one, and that same shirt, unbuttoned with the shirt under it. That's a fit. I feel like I would rock this unbuttoned white tee. Keep it simple. That's a fit. And right there, that's two fits because then you can do white tee unbuttoned, or you can do white tee unbuttoned with the sleeves rolled. You know what I hate though on these is that. I feel like the bottom of it always like rolls up, gets wrinkled. Dude, that's what the iron. I feel you. I 100%. You are correct. Do people still use starch on their shit? You be spraying starch on your clothes? I don't. Yeah. My parents do. I was raised on starch, my nigga. Like, that was my shit when Keeping I Keeping the clothes crispy. Dude, I used to put the crease in the khakis, bro. Oof. Like, on some real, like, the <laughs> starch. I was raised on starch. But then I got to a certain point. It was probably when I had to buy my own shit in life where I just stopped fucking with stuff. I was like, I don't, what the fuck am I buying? Like, this is, a, <laughs> this is some extra nigga shit. Yeah. Like, you know, like, I don't need stuff. Like, my clothes iron the same. Like, I don't <laughs> need starch, dude. And now I don't even use an iron board. I use a steamer now. For this, I don't think it... Like, I would rock... I think I could rock this shit. Hell yeah, dude. But this like, shit is totally rockable. With the, with the Supreme and the same monotone font on the sleeve... Mad subtle flex, super subtle flex, dude. Super subtle flex. Does it have other colors? Yeah. Oh, okay. Damn, Ooh, they got the green jeans. That pistachio. Whoa, the pistachio. The pistachio. The green tea the matcha. Pistachio matcha <laughs> green tea. Man, this shit is hitting. Yeah, on that, some real. that could go. That could go, a hundred percent. And all these would look uh, other than the white one. The all these would look good with the even. I mean, if you get the white one, do, do the all white party. Um. Uh, do a white wearing a white tee under them. all of them? I think would look good. White tees under denim shirts are fucking clean as fuck, dude. Is that like a salmon? That's darker than salmon. I think that's a. I think that's their take on a red. It looks like a like a salmon, but I I think it's gonna be more like a, a red. washed red, like a washed red, because that's what all these look like. They look like they're a washed denim. Yeah, they all look like washed denim. So it's pretty legit. I would go for the pistachio. Yeah, I'm looking at that matcha like that shit's hitting. Mm -hmm. That shit's hitting. This shit is, what is this price looking like for this shit? I think I saw 138. 138. Not bad. Not bad. That's that's normal Supreme pricing. That's normal Supreme pricing for shit. Okay, out of everything so far, what are you copying? Ooh. Here's the thing. So I can't give that up to these guys because they have a video to watch tomorrow where they get to see everything I'm actually copying. That's but real. That's real. I will give up one thing that I actually am copying this video. Okay. The one, uh, the one thing I am for certain going for Let's that see. it looks like I will have the opportunity to get because motherfuckers is hating on that shit right now is these goddamn pants. 
I'm going for these motherfucking pants. Oof. You better swoop on it before they do. The motherfuckers is hating on them. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Wait, what's the what's the like ratio for those work pants? Because them shits, the black the ones. Motherfuckers is feeling those shits, dude. No, look at that like. Oh, they actually not. Hey, then fuck y'all. I'm about to cop those black work oh, pants. Oh, hell yeah. Dude. Off m- top. One of, one, of, one of the rules for, for like being like a fan, a subscriber to Sin Supreme Motherfuckers, you gotta you, you gotta cop what you like and not what is hyped, a hundred percent. Like fuck the hype, cop what you like. You know, like none of these motherfuckers is dressing like you know based off another motherfucker. At least I don't want them to. I want you guys to dress how you dressing what you like. You know, find out why you like it and and go for it. Mm. You know, and and with something like that, like I fuck with these pants. Yeah, they're hard. They're hard. So if you're like, damn, I want to get them shits, yo. Fuck I want to get them shits. Yeah, fuck this fucking like to dislike ratio. Yeah, I don't. I'm not. I, I personally think it's skewed. I don't even really like to believe it because I think motherfuckers are on here trolling it just so they can get motherfuckers to not go for it, so they have a better chance of getting it. I'm gonna say that <laughs> this is gonna be my first drop that I dude. I go you hear for. that, ladies and gentlemen? This will be T's first drop. He really goes. My for first it. preem drop, y'all. His first preem drop will be tomorrow, dude. Shh. I'm over here. Fucking breaking hype beast in like You're that. You're seasons deep. Yo, dude, You're I, yeah, seasons. seasons deep. Yeah, yeah, dude. I have some old shit. I have some old shit. But, man, I think, yeah, I think I'm willing to drop a little dough like that. that I just fuck with the worker's outfit. Yeah, that shit is hard, dude. The jacket and the pants, like. And the thing that's always cool about, or not even cool, the thing that, like, like you'll be like, damn, I want to go for something. It's a little expensive, but, like, I want to treat myself. And with Supreme, you, and you look at something with Supreme, and then you go for it, and that shit sell out, you don't even get it. And you're like, damn, oh, man, fuck. Next time. Next time. And, you you know, Supreme helps you save money. I, I've saved so much money by catching so many L's from Supreme, like, just in the past. Like, it's cool because you're a collector, <laughs> and, like, you just hold on to it, and it's you, like, you wear it, but, like, if you ever needed to, you could flip it. You know? Oh, 100%. Yeah, yeah. It's good to know that I was just looking at... I was like up the other night just looking at a lot of my stuff and looking at it online because I never really care about that. I never get it. So I never pay attention to resale. But I started like looking at a lot of my stuff and seeing like how much it's going for online. And it's like, whoa, holy shit. Motherfuckers is paying this much for this. Like a used one of this. That's mad real. It's mad real. It gets fucking real out there, dude. It's crazy. It's crazy. I think starting off, I'm just going to get it for shit I like. Exactly. Maybe well, maybe hop into reselling like later down the line. If it, if I could give the best advice for people who are actually trying to resell, mm. and, or like want to eventually sell their stuff, is to go for what you like because those tend to be the pieces that they might not sell instantly for the highest amount. Like you might not be able to flip it like the ne- this the next day for that for like a crazy amount, but. If you have that piece for a couple years, those pieces tend to usually sell for double, triple, and they they'll be used. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's because those two are the pieces that are usually the timeless pieces that aren't with the the because Supreme will release stuff that is definitely like on trend, mm. and then they'll release stuff that is just like a timeless piece that like. Do you think this Public Enemy drop is timeless? Oh yeah, hundred percent. Like working with Public Enemy specifically. Because they, this is the second time they've worked with Public Enemy. Word. And the Public Enemy stuff that they did before, like that's some of the fucking sickest like shit ever. But now that they've added Undercover in, which is another like big brand, like Undercover. I mean, they're big, but at the same time, they're not like, you know, they're like, they're like at like as far as like notoriety, they're like almost like Stone Island. Only they've never gotten that rapper endorsement. Okay. Okay. Like motherfuckers fuck with Undercover. But, like, they haven't gotten that rapper endorsement. Like, how uh, Drake endorsed Stone Island and shit. Niggas know about Undercover like that. This Supreme season is going to be crazy. Yeah. Uh, it's already being pretty crazy. Like, two, two fucking, um, uh, uh, two collaborations in, in, in two weeks. Like, the Nike Nike NBA last week. Mm. And then this one this week is, is crazy. Like, to, to, like, have that, like, back to back. But um, it's awesome. All right, guys. How many of these motherfuckers is in here? We've been chatting up fucking pretty hard. Let's see. We got 162. Okay, Yo, okay. Uh, 
we're opening the floor for questions. Give us some of your questions. Uh, I know T doesn't know a ton of shit. Um, nah. Um, but ask me any questions about this drop, about fucking like uh, questions about reselling and prices and all that other shit, and I will try to answer them. Oh, hats, hats. We didn't talk about hats. You and you were hats, T. Who? Um, Are these six panels? Um, this is a six panel, I believe. The checkerboard can cap. Okay. Let's go look at this shit. Hold on a second. We're gonna look at the fucking hats. Yeah, I'm gonna do a live cop, dude. What the fuck do you think I'm doing here? Probably gonna do a live cop tomorrow. <laughs> Come on, y'all. So you gonna do a live cop? Like, yeah, nigga. <laughs> What's the safest resell? Safest resell would be t-shirts. Yeah, those are good. Those are good. I fuck with those. The rest of the outfit better be chill as fuck, though, if you were in a hat around me. Because that's a lot going on in the hat. But I like it. You wear caps. What do you think? Do you do the cam? You do the cam caps. Um, I've had a few. Personally, I don't like the straight brim. I'm more of like the. Oh yeah, no. I would. This would be bent. This would be fucking curved as fuck. I feel you. Um. Oh hell yeah, I can't do the straight brim either. It's been a while since I in high school. <laughs> exactly. Um, I like I like forty seven style a little bit more. Got you. That all oh, forty seven. Yeah, forty seven. Yeah. Show yeah. me hats, but the six panels are straight. Um, out of all the colors, I feel like they got mm, a brown over there. Per, yeah, personally, not my style. I think I would rock out of all of them. Shit, what do you think, bro? What? I like the black. I keep it simple. There's so much going on in this fucking hat. I'm keeping it dumb simple. I'm going for the black. I think I would just look ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I would look goofy. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pass. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> you can pass it. Totally. That's yeah. totally an acceptable answer. I just, six panels aren't me. Visor label G, uh, six panel. There's so many fucking hats. I yeah. sold so many Supreme These hats, dude. There's dumb hats. Look yeah, at this shit. I had so many Supreme hats when my hair was short. Were you a bucket? You like bucket hats? I, I had bucket hats. I had a couple of them. Yeah. I went through my little schoolboy Q face. <laughs> um, damn. Mm. I don't really like any of these. <laughs> I like the green one because that it seems like it's... Yeah, I like the... Oops. Yeah, I like the green one. I think that one's a little clean. They all look like it looks like a present, like a gift wrap type shit. I don't really fuck with these. White one's cool, like conceptually, but other than that, like yeah. I'm passing on all these six panels, bro. Dude, and just I, I give them props for even like putting out so many hats, dude. Like it's hard to make this many hats twice a year. <laughs> that ass. Oh shit. Um to be pre continually producing has. What are those beanies down there? These ones right here? Yeah. These already came out, I think. I think you missed out on these. These are hard. Out. Oh man. I see like fuck. I would be rocking the fuck out of that. These are hard. This cream colorway is fucking cool. Yeah, these are hard as well. I think these already dropped. I believe these already dropped. I take one in each color. Um Alright guys. That's everything in the lookbook. What the fuck do you want to know? Best white hoodie, what best white house colorway to cop, uh, black or white? I personally think the hoodie with the target will resell. Yeah, it'll probably resell. Um, I don't know how much it will resell for. I personally, uh, if for me to for me to buy something and it to be worth it for me to sell it, I have to be making at least two hundred and fifty dollar profit. Like, if I'm not making more than that, then it's not worth my time. What's the last piece you sold? Yeezys. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> Easy flip. <laughs> Easy flip. Easy flip. So, two pairs of Yeezys bought some cars. Hey. The black ones. Yeah, the black ones. Them joints is hard. Yeah. Resell on White House. See, I don't... Hey, resale price? I don't fucking know the resale price on any of these shits. So, guys, don't ask me the resale price. The resale price is, like, whatever the market will play, pay. 
so, uh, if you what what I can tell you is what might resell. Um, I'll take the boxing gloves if I could have any items you, from the past season. Have you ever ran bots? No, I tried once and it, the bot didn't work, and that's when Sin Supreme was born. Wow. I don't know if I'm buying the pinball when it comes out because I don't know if I'll even be able to. That thing is probably be dumb expensive and probably probably be an in-store only. Maybe it would be online. Hellraiser collab? Uh, Hellraiser collab I fuck with. I will be trying to get some of that, a decent amount of that. Haven't even seen it, but I'm going to take your word. Yeah. I mean, I Hellraiser, when I was a kid, that shit haunted my nightmares, dude. <laughs> I don't know if you fuck with that. Hell, sounds but. mad scary, bro. Yo, yeah, oh, dude, yeah. Hellraiser. Have you ever watched a Hellraiser movie? No. Dude, them shits is dumb. Like, Am I sleeping? I mean, now as an adult, because they're so old, but still the imagery in that shit will fuck with you, dog. I can appreciate good cinematography. Yeah, the imagery. So, so if you can put yourself in, like, Kid Terrence's body and be like, damn, yeah, if I was a kid and I watched this shit, I'd be fucked up. Like, like Freddy like, Krueger. Is, <laughs> is it on that level? Yeah, it's like it's on that, but like not funny. Like Freddy Krueger, I could fuck when I was a kid because that shit was dumb funny. Like Freddy Krueger was mad funny. Like he was killing things, but he was also making jokes and shit. (laughs) Shit was mad funny. But uh, Hellraiser, that shit was just scary as fuck. So like now I'm an adult. Hell yeah, I want that shit. I want all that shit. That shit harder my nightmares when I was a little kid. Yeah, hell yeah. Um, I'm hoping they do a fucking Jason Voorhees Supreme collab. Ooh, that that was that nigga. That might be an instant call. Jason was that nigga. Jason was. Anything else? Does Philly work? I don't know if any of those apps work. I don't fuck with any of them shits. Um, what strain did you? What, what strain? What strain were we just smoking on? Fucking. Which we're, 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 we're in the process. Do you know T? Which, which strain? Mm-hmm. Did you put some? Did you put some in that? New. New perp. New perp. New. That's that new perp. New perp. What was that? New perp. You feel me? Not the old. Perp. <laughs> Not it's the old. The new new. new. Perp. Let me Mine. see your ghost. What is he talking about? Ghost hell. Blue moon. Oh, what? The ghost on my arm? You have a ghost on your arm? Yeah. Spooky. Spooky oh. gang. That's my ass. I told you, the only thing I can tell you right now, you got to watch the video to know what I'm copying tomorrow. The only thing you'll know is uh, I'm copying, I'm going for the pants, 100%. Am I using a bot? Nah, definitely manual. He's going manual. I'm about to just wing it, bro. He's about to wing it. He's probably going to be on his cell phone driving down the fucking <laughs> Down the highway, 405. Down the 405. Looking lost. Hell yeah. Did I, No, I missed that S-rank drop. I'm sorry. I, I feel so stupid. I missed that S-rank drop. Do shirts run, t-shirts do run a little bigger than previous seasons it's a new size i'm gonna stop saying run yeah they do run big any other manual is the best for supreme 100 percent. yeah yeah um any other questions that matter <laughs> i am not it's crazy that people are calling me your dad, bro. <laughs> That's just a thing this online. Is, this is facts. We actually have the same last name. Yeah, we actually do have the same last name. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. Bro. I feel like we're more like cousins or like yeah, brothers. Yeah, we could so. be. I love the rayon right. shirt. I think it's sick. Uh, specifically, the green one's my favorite colorway. If you want to send me a beat, uh, hop on my um, fucking uh, DM me on Instagram. Sizing on range probably be true to size. If you're a medium, you're a medium. Anything else you want to know? Because I'm about to get the fuck out of here. Smoke another blunt. <laughs> no, I'm going to give us a lot. No, I'm going to tell you about fucking last name. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you goddamn hype beast. It's your boy, Sin Supreme. I'd like to welcome you. I'm glad you came. Welcome to you. I'm glad you came through and stuck around for the fucking first ever Wednesday night hype where I had a special guest. Hey. Everybody, definitely. Uh, T, you want to shout out any like social media things that they can follow you on or anything like that? Man, I first want to say thank you for having me. Feel me? I feel privileged to be the first guest. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! We out here. There'll be more. There'll be more to come, dude. And he'll definitely be back too. Oh yeah! And uh, I just want to give a shout out to. To all the homies, you guys know who you are. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna drop it like that. <laughs> I'm not gonna drop them names. 
Everybody know who the fuck they are. But um, who's ever watching? It's all love. The f- bro, your fans is real. I I appreciate this shit. Hell yeah. Hell um. Yeah. Hell yeah. We out here. Um. So I will put the Discord link, um, to the Supreme, um, Discord that a couple of uh, the subscribers made a bigger Supreme Discord. And then the Sin Supreme, the Super Secret Sin Supreme Discord um, link also. That that one will, will only be good for about an hour, but the other one will be good for, I think, a whole day. Um, so I'll put both of those in the chat once I finish this chat, once I finish the stream. Um, as always, you know where to find the live cops. Make sure you leave a thumbs up because okay. it helps give this video way more visibility. It's your boy Sin Supreme. The homie T, Terrence, hey. uh, we shall holler at you later. All right, peace. We out.